Good afternoon from North Andover, Massachusetts on the campus of Merrimack College. I'm Greg Kadetsky, joined today by Thomas Cenzarella, and it should be a great matchup between the St. Francis Brooklyn Terriers and the Merrimack Warriors in this Northeast Conference matchup. It's incredible, and then, yeah, if you're featured on national TV, as Miner's layup is good, plus the foul. Put up, up and under by Jordan Miner and holding on to the ball as he was getting fouled. And yeah, there's the versatility you see right off the pick and pop. Miner catches the ball way too deep in the paint. You know, see, he's inside that restricted area for the defensive uh, charges. and Shot over 46% from beyond the arc as Miner gets the rejection. And here come the Warriors who want to push. Bennett, McCoy, work to the corner, a three by Filchner is good. Thea standing, staring into this 2-3 zone defense. And the steal by Bennett. Trying to go coast to coast, the layup is good. And as quick three from the left, it rattles it home as Bethea. Swing to the left, Moreno's three doesn't fall. Rebounded by Howell South. And the layup is good. Good put back by Howell South. Rebound by the Terriers, here they come. Moreno off the window, got it. Four quick points for the Terriers. Clark with the basketball, working into the zone. Kicks to the left, this is Moreno, will take the three. It is short, he was looking for the foul, he did not get it called. So the teams go to the locker rooms with a 37-34 Merrimack three-point advantage. And certainly the Warriors need Ziggy Reed to stay on the floor today. He's missing on the first try as Harris. The second one is good. He went right around Ziggy Reed. Remember, a 13 point advantage at 346 to play in the first half. Bennett hesitation, tried to drop it off, taken away by the Terriers. Here comes Wilcox. Bounce pass and Cyrus Grisby gives the Terriers the lead. You know, something that happened in the second hard game where the second hard didn't have their first lead until the second half. As Miner with a reverse layup gives the Warriors the lead once again. It's because where Miner caught the basketball on the floor, the double team couldn't come right away, and you see a couple players trying to come after him. As Bennett goes high off the window, he's to Cap. Working it on Higgins. Savage lines into a three and nails it. <clears throat> As Dracat gets the screen from Jordan Miner, tries to give, give it to him off the glass. And it's a tough angle for Jordan Miner. But remember the first half, the Terriers scored 10 points really, really quickly. Yeah, you can't the first half. And the three there is good. Stinson in the lane, hands it to Miner off the glass, and that should do it. 14 point lead for the Warriors with a minute to go in this one as the Terriers will dribble it out. And the horn sounds to end this one, a 65-53 win for the Merrimack Warriors over the St. Francis Brooklyn Terriers. The Warriors get their fourth win of the season, the second one over a Division I opponent.